hey guys welcome back to a complicated melody so i am here to talk about a couple of new collections that have come out from mac there is the retro matte lipsticks which i think is one of the more um anticipated products that have come out with this kind of uh, collection of collections that just re were released this week and then there are some new pro long wear um, paint pots and some new pro long wear lip liners and there's some glamour eyes palettes that have come out and I have one from that so the first thing I'm going to show you are the retro matte lipsticks which I was really excited about I love this formula you get the matte finish in a more comfortable wear I said that when they came out with Riri Woo that the retro matte formula was just a really nice formula that was very close to the regular matte that Re that Ruby Woo was but it was just more comfortable to wear and these are like really true matte because sometimes I find that I'll get a lipstick that's uh, labeled as matte from MAC and they're not as matte they may sometimes to me they lean a little towards the satin side it's just my opinion but that's what I tend to find happens sometimes when I get some um you know matte lipsticks so these are really truly matte um and I will say that they're just more comfortable to wear they're not as drying as uh some of the other ones like uh, the original ruby woo was to me so the first color I'm going to show you is called fixed on drama and this one is a very dark red it's gonna be great for fall so there you have that very nice very dramatic and when I tell you these are really soft they are really soft um, considering that they are matte lipsticks the next one is relentlessly red because listen y'all just can't not pick up the red lipstick this one though I will say is almost like a watermelon red um, a bright pinkishly watermelon red so it's not the typical bluish red this is brighter um definitely more kind of yellow tone uh, slightly more pink the next one is um called dangerous and this one is a more orange red uh, maybe you would call that a tomato red it's more of a true red so the next one is called All Fired Up, and this one is a more deep pinkish red color. A little bit more, actually more pink. It's, nah, it's a pink. Um, more of a magenta color, and the tube it looked a little red, but it's definitely more pink. So there you have that one. Then we have Flat Out Fabulous, which is, I think, my favorite of all of them, which is this gorgeous uh, purple pink color. Um, and I really like this one. That's gorgeous. This one is called Going Steady, and it is this bubblegum pink, which is what I'm wearing. So there you have that one. It's a bit more pale. Originally, I have a lip liner that it, that I also picked up that I'm going to show you. So it's a little bit more pink now with the liner on there. But um, as you can see, it's just definitely a bright pale pink. And lastly, Runway Hit, which was apparently a very popular one. I got the last one because I wasn't originally going to get it. But when I saw it in person, I liked it. So it's a really nice pale peach. So here you have the seven retro matte colors. A nice array of colors you kind of hit a lot of your basics here so you're gonna get a pink red a tomato red this dark pinky red a nice real pink a pale pink a pale peach and a nice deep red which is gonna be perfect for fall so of the uh, six seven that I have I definitely liked um, these two the most that I really fell in love with those and these are all great but those two I like the most so next we have um, lip liners. So they came out with some more new colors in the Pro Long Wear Lip Liner collection and or line of products. And these um, just, I mean, they're exactly what they sound like. They're the Pro Long Wear formula for the lip liners. Uh, I will say that I, I've always been a fan of these lip liners because they are very uh, strong. They don't go anywhere. A lot of times they do not move. And I have had um, instances where like I've traveled and thought I had the lipstick and I didn't so I thought um, 
you know, I was going to wear a particular lipstick and I didn't have it. But what I did have was the Pro Long Wear Lip Liner. And honey, that works just fine. You could really fill in your entire lip with a Pro Long Wear Lip Liner. And it's going to stay just like it would if it was a lipstick. It's a little bit more drying, obviously. And it's not always, you know, the, but then you use a lot of product because it's not meant to do that. But you can definitely do that and get away with it. So I've had that happen before. And so it's always good to have these because they don't go anywhere just like kind of the Metro I want to keep saying Metro. Retro matte uh, lipsticks are. They are very long lasting as well. I will say that. So um, other than like oil usually is what's going to break up the lipstick. Um, but these stay on for quite a while without anything else on it. And before I move on to the lip liners, I did want to uh, mention another product from MAC called um, the Prep and Prime for Lip. Um, whenever I'm wearing these matte lipsticks and really any lipstick, um, I do like to do the Prep and Prime or any lip primer if you have one. A little bit of this just kind of sets your lip and it helps kind of eliminate some of the cracks because these matte lipsticks definitely will um, highlight if you have very chapped lips or if they're a little cracked today, you know, it's going into winter and it just happens. And so this kind of helps level out and even out your lip texture so that the lipstick sits on it very well and it does help it stay a little bit longer so I do find that this product is extremely helpful when wearing those lipsticks so just want to note that and you that's a product you can get any time and place and there are other brands that sell lip primer so don't feel like you have to get the MAC one but I just got that one time and I've used it a lot and I like it so two colors that um, they are re-promoting I already had which is in anticipation, anticipation, I can't talk today, and more to love. So in anticipation is this um, kind of pale peachy color. It's a little pink actually. And more to love, which is a really nice pink. So, and I've used it a bit, so I didn't, I forgot to sharpen it for this particular video, but those are two that I've had already. So there's, um, in anticipation and more to love which more to love probably would match very well with this one right here so with this collection they have uh, four new colors that I picked up that I didn't have there was one I think called something red like really red or something like that and I have another red prolong uh, wear lip liner that I've gotten a separate collection I have regular reds I have quite a few red lip liners so I skipped that one um, but I did get high energy is this gorgeous one here that definitely matches this tomato red color very well so that's high energy then we have dynamo which is this bright pink color Let's see where I'm going to put this one so there you have dynamo And then there is Fashion Boost, which is a gorgeous purple. I'm really excited about that one. So there you have that. And then Shock Value, which is what I line my lips for this particular video. And um, it's definitely deeper pink. So it's a deeper pink. Uh, but I paired it with this pale pink to make it a little bit deeper not so pale so there you have the lip liners these are also very soft they're not as long they don't come with as much product as their normal pencil liners but the pencil liners can be uh, more drying um, and they're not necessarily prolonged wear so they don't last as long so these definitely stick they don't move very much so there you so with this collection there's some new prolong wear paint pots uh which i love paint pots as bases for my eye you can wear them alone or you can put eyeshadow on top they make for great bases but if you're in a rush i have definitely been known to just wear a paint pot just by itself just so that i can have color on my lid and um so that works very well like that and they don't move these um 
are now pro long wear ones i don't think they even make regular paint pots anymore i want to say most of the shades are now available in a pro long wear far formula but i think i said in a previous video that i think they just slapped the name on it because i don't know how much they've done to the formula because most paint pots definitely stayed very well without anything i mean they're the basis so they really kind of were the reason why you use them as base bases for your eyeshadow because they didn't go anywhere and they were when first applied they're slightly you know sticky so you when you put the eyeshadow on top just like any other primer it has something to stick to and hold to and uh, help from creasing and all those wonderful things the first one is the one that I just caught my eye immediately and this one is called clear water and you can probably guess why since so this is gorgeous uh, pale blue green as you can see is a really matte finish that doesn't have any kind of shimmer or anything to it some paint pots do this one doesn't which is really nice so you get a nice very uh, pale uh, primer or you can wear this by itself or find like a matching eyeshadow just to make that I mean really pop it can make uh, some eyeshadows really really pop and that's gorgeous I don't like I mean I don't think I have anything like this um, not this particular kind of icy blue um, kind of you know like clear water blue like that um, so I was really really excited about this one's absolutely gorgeous so the next one here is called camel coat and this is the one that I thought was more, you know, appropriate that are not appropriate, but the one that I liked over the uh, gray one because it was a bit of a brown tone, but it's kind of like a, a, you know, pale grayish color, um, but just definitely more brown. And so I really like this one and it's, I could, this is something that I would say is a great just everyday primer if you want to put something on your lid just to make sure you have something for your eyeshadow to stick to. And um, depending on your um, skin tone, it may show up more or less. This is the other one, again, that had a gray tone to it that I liked, which is called Stormy Pink. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And... This one has kind of like a, a mauve purple tone to it. And these are so soft and very creamy. And so there you have that. So you can see that purple definitely shows up very nicely in this one. Stormy Pink is really, really nice. I like that one. And then lastly, this one is called Perky. And it's just, a, it's a more pink. And as you can see, this one looks like it has a bit of shimmer, shimmer to it light shimmer doesn't have like I've had some paint pots that are like glittery and this one isn't this one is just a little bit more uh, looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it very light kind of like a satin finish to it so here you have that one perky so very very light bright pale pink color and you can kind of see that sh kind of slight satiny finish that you get there I'm gonna show you the palette that I got from glamour eyes um, now I'm a little confused by this because it didn't seem like there was a huge buzz about this. Um, when my girl at Mac was like, do you want anything from Glamour Eyes? I, I think I was like, saw it somewhere like flash across like my Twitter or something, but I hadn't seen a whole, whole lot about it. Not like the Metro, the retro matte lipsticks. So I had to look them up and then I couldn't really find any swatches. It looks like it's a lot of collection of palettes that may have come out before that they're bringing back some new ones, this, that, and the third. So I was really interested in this one called Hold My Glaze, Hold My Gaze. And, um, so I got this one. So was interested in this um, kind of grayish color that you'll see in this purple and blue as you can see has um, a nice blue this um, purple that if you can kind of see has a slight iridescence to it as does this kind of um, gray color here it's kind of like a, a iridescence has a little bit of a greenish to it and then this kind of it's not a true ice white slightly off white but it's um it's a nice color I definitely have never been a huge person about white eyeshadow but um and I rarely find one that I kind of really like but I like this one um, which is really nice so it has kind of like this iciness to it I'm running out of space on my hand um and then so this gray is the one that I really liked out of the palette the most um, and it's kind of like that beluga 
eyeshadow that just came out, but it's a bit lighter. So, um, and it has just a bit more green, not as not as much blue. So, and it's even hard to see on camera, but it's a gorgeous color. So I think it's picking that up a little bit. And I promise, I promise, hand to the Lord, I'm going to picture swatch these especially because I, I definitely want you guys to see the detail in in the colors in this um, retro matte but i'm definitely gonna swatch these and take pictures this time so here's the purple and then the blue that's very pretty so there you have that blue and mac I will say, it usually comes out with some of the nicest blue eyeshadows. They have a really good collection of blue eyeshadows. And um, haven't had too many issues whenever they come out with a gorgeous blue. Um, I tend to always want to pick it up because they do so well with blue for some reason to me. Um, but so there are the shadows. There are the lipstick lip liners. And ah, that's a mess. That's a whole lot. I usually am a little bit better coordinated with this, but... I wanted to go ahead and swatch these on video for you guys so that it's not a week late. So, Girl Scouts Honor, I'm going to swatch these and take pictures. And if you guys don't know, it's a very time consuming. It is just time consuming to, to swatch and take pictures. I know people um, who do this very, very well and I definitely understand how much time and effort it takes to swatch these on camera and still pictures um, because lighting has to be really good and a lot of times I try to do these in natural light because I think natural light just shows it well. Artificial light just doesn't do it for me um, and I just don't have the best setup for artificial light so natural light works for me so I definitely have to make sure I'm home early enough before the sun goes down and it's not cloudy outside or it's not extremely too hot where I come back. So I definitely want to make sure I get these swatched for you, especially for the Retro Matte Collection, because these are just gorgeous colors, and I want you guys to see what these look like um, in true light, and then on a, maybe my skin tone, I know helps a lot of people when they go to look to see what they're going to purchase. So look for that. Hopefully by the time this video is on YouTube, I'll already have them um, swatched and everything. And um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. I'll see you guys next time.